Hey there folks, I'm Mysterious JG and welcome back to Let's Play Neo. So, uh, Darkcaster, raining on my parade as he says, although he's not responsible for the state of affairs, uh, I've been saving up my um, skill points under the impression that I could get all the Mystic Arts for anything where I have enough um, uh, proficiency with that weapon. But it doesn't appear it actually works that way. Uh, I think I have to actually get one, I can only get one, uh, because I looked this up on the internet webs, I can only get one um, Mystic Art per weapon, and apparently I can only get one for Ninja and one for Anvio. That's a real heartbreaker, because I was pretty excited about these. Extending the duration of skills and items, and instantly cast on myself. And then Ninja... Increases damage dealt by long-range weapons, or instantly perform any ninjutsu you use on yourself. So this one in particular, I thought that was going to be great, because you can instantly get, like, the the status effect that means, like, if you die, you regenerate. Like, that seemed like something that would be useful to be able to recast instantly. But I was hoping for the long-range one, too, long-range damage boost, too, and on Onmyo... I think the duration boost was probably going to be more important to me than the instant cast. So, I don't know. If I can only choose one, I might avoid both of the instant casts just and, and try to just deal with what I've been dealing with the whole game, which is you have to account for the casting time for these spells. So, I don't know. Instant cast might be the smart way to go. But for the rest of these, well, if I only get to choose one Mystic Art for Kusurigama, I am pretty sure, and other people seem to have confirmed, that the thing I keep uh, spamming is the one where the Kusurigama's metal weight is important. You learn a Mystic Art. You can equip one of each type of Mystic Art, and the Mystic Art that is not equipped will not grant any effects. So I could, I could learn them both and then be able to switch back and forth, but the game is basically telling me this. Mystic Art for Samurai Skills can be equipped from the Skill Customization menu. That being said, that means I've got more more uh, points to spend on other things than I realized. So for the Axe, I can massively boost damage of attacks to reduce your key to zero, or I can do the Yokai Realms one. The ones that reduce your key to zero seems more useful. Now, the Kusurigama one is still set, right? Okay. Because skill customization, you get, I guess, one Mystic Art slot. So you can't have more than one Mystic Art for weapons, it just can't be for the same weapon. That being said, I... Uh, I learned them for Axe, for Kusurigama. I haven't learned them for the other Wapits yet. So I could get one of the sword ones. But it do these don't actually do anything unless I'm using a sword. The spear one. Um, the dual sword ones apparently only work when you're using dual swords, even though the description suggests otherwise. The spear one, from what I've seen online... Um, The thrust damage boost from one of these does work for everything. But Axe is the one that they say is really good to get just because it affects everything. And Odachi. Increase the key damage of frontal strikes against enemies that are attacking. And reduce the key consumption. I would think the Odachi one would be good to get. The first one of these. And then for Tanfa. It's all Tanfa skills. So if I learn the Oda if I learn like Odachi skill, I've got another Mystic Art that's worth getting that boosts everything. And I can't get the ninja ones yet anyway. So maybe my next port of call should be trying to learn the Odachi skills. Seal across steel is spear, a fearless in the face of many is Odachi.
Well now, you seem to be rather handy with large swords. You know, not many warriors in Japan are capable of wielding such sizable weapons. Would you care to spar with me and test your skills? Just so you know, I will use an Odachi too. And Taisharyu techniques can be applied to almost any of the martial arts. I know full well how good a fighter you are, so I do not consider you an apprentice, rather a warrior of equal standing. So shall we duel in single combat? If you can beat me, I promise to impart upon you techniques that I myself have devised. Yeah, knowing that I've got to choose one uh, Mystic Art has kind of changed a lot about my strategy here. But I still, I guess I should get one of the Sword Mystic Arts, just because I'll be using swords on occasion. Now, I haven't played in a, about a week. And I'm not particularly good with an Odachi anyway, so... That was not good. Should have comboed him there. I'm using this the same stance that I used with Kusarigama, which may not be a good stance for this weapon, but because I'm just getting big individual hits. Oh, I thought I was gonna hit him out of that, and not so much how it went, was it? Yeah, Kusarigama is pretty much similar to Axe as far as like big hits. Oof. That wasn't exactly ideal. Because I haven't learned a whole bunch of fancy techniques. I was evading back. Well, I, I've, I haven't gotten any fights with him yet where I didn't even get get him halfway, but... I'm sure there's better stances I should be using if I was really good with a Kadachi, but I'm not. Or more creative combos. for missing that. Bad JG. Bad. Ow. Oh, I thought I had to evade. Oh, one more big hit. There we go. That's our mystic arts dealt with, at least for now. Let me bow off to the side of you in respect. Seems you've gotten really good at my super arts. I'm going to pose down for a bit here. And off we go. Alright, well that wasn't too bad. So, if I do any more off-screening, I need to make sure that I use other weapons to get... Um, to get them proficiency leveled up to the point where I can at least have the option of getting the Mystic Arts, even though with Tonfa in particular, and Tonfa and Dual Swords, I'm probably never going to use them. Or never, probably won't bother to acquire them. 
Aha, you are as strong as you have ever been. I think I had better make good on my promise. It's truly astonishing that an outsider like you has managed to become so proficient at our martial arts. You are never short of surprises, Zenjin, and I give you that. Ha, indeed, you certainly keep me on my toes. Ha ha. I had him confused for a while with the weird, like, came back from the dead axe guy. But, um, he's not the same guy. Anyway, uh, that means that we can get increases key damage or frontal strikes against enemies that are attacking. I think this, from the description, it looks like it affects all. The one game facts thread I saw that really goes into these in detail doesn't mention Odachi. I don't know if it's new. If the Odachi has a new weapon with a new, like a later patch of the game, or it came with one of the DLCs I got with the season pass, but this description suggests that it works on all and not just Odachi. Then again, Dual Swords also suggests that it works on all. And, um, honestly, landing an attack reduces the key usage of subsequent attacks. This effect can be boosted if you land another attack before it runs out. That would be really useful with, uh, Kusari Gamma, but it doesn't seem to work. So, yep. Alright. How close are we to leveling up? And do I have something with, um... I don't have anything equipped right now that gives me my, uh... Recurrent damage dealt, I need to boost in that. But I need to get something that's going to give me uh, Kadama Sense, because it's time for us to go ahead and start doing another mission. So somehow marking these would have been nice, but... That's fine. That'll, that'll do. Alright. And I don't think we can level up yet, but yeah, we're only about halfway to being able to level up. I suppose I could quick hit the hidden tea house. I haven't uh, haven't played in a while, so we should be due for another reward. Probably not fantastic reward, but because I, I put a little bit of effort into donating items, but not much. So we'll see what we got. I went ahead and bought all the gestures that were available too. I'm just. Spending all the glory points and trying to make sure I have enough left for the one glory purchase I know is left, which is the transform into, um, what's her face, Okatsu. Really unfortunate results. You suck. But if I were to go trade... No gestures... Oh, I do have new transformations. And I believe I could buy all of these and still be able to afford... Oh, I see. You can transform into any of the guys that you defeat to get um, ultimate uh, mystic arts. But we still have enough to get um, Okatsu after all that. And the chicks are still arranged at the bottom. So now we can also transform into this guy. Isn't he cool? Check him out. Transform into Yagyu Jubei, but not really. This guy's like 10 feet tall or whatever he seemed like. And mostly I'm excited that we can uh, transform into um, Mototara Tori, though I have no intention of actually doing so. All right, I guess what the blacksmith real quick before we get going on anything else. Oh, hey, there's more forging available. You handed over the smithing text. I guess there's new weapons that I was not able to forge before that I can now forge. Okay, I didn't realize I had more uh, smithing text. I can now smith gold armor Neo. 
which is interesting because that was a DLC thing, I thought, but I guess not exclusively. All right, so let's... Well, hold on. One last thing we'll do with the blacksmith, other than... Do I make mistakes? Yes, every day, but not once have I ever thought about giving up. Sigh. Is there something the matter? Hey, we're I guess we're actually getting free points for a change. My eyes hurt. It can be surprisingly exhausting looking through one eye all the time. You mean your eye hurts? I guess your other eye could hurt too. Phantom pain, as it were. What happened to your eye? This? I got this from a huge mistake I made when I first began smithing under my grandfather. That was not a fun day at all. I imagine it hasn't affected your ability to smith. A mistake made is a lesson learned. Thank you, Anchin. You might be the wisest person I know. Aww. So that gave us a point. We probably want to hurry up and spend it, because I understand if you hoard the points, sometimes uh, new points you earn don't, don't stack properly. So we're going to go ahead and keep working on our reforging discount. I guess I'm glad we came and spoke to Tome. Anjin, if you have time, tell me about the lands beyond the sea. There's not much opportunity to hear such stories around here. Let me know if I can help you with anything. For anything in particular? Okay. I think we've gotten what we're going to get out of that for a freebie. And I have yet to actually see something where um, chatting with him gives us points. So... All I really wanted to do was actually, other than checking the dialogue, was to come in and see if there was any um, items or special finds that we need, or that we could buy. We finally can't afford Book of Reincarnations. We've driven the price up too high. None of these look super interesting to me. So, we're done. And now, we can uh, save, and then get on with the next plot mission. Don't know if I'm going to get in enough videos in this sit-down to finish a plot mission, but it's kind of the thing that we got to do next, so... Sekigahara. Ooh. It's kind of a big deal. I think I mentioned this before. Our next destination is Sekigahara. This is our fight, William, not yours. I cannot ask you to join us. This battle is one... I do not know if I can survive myself. Okatsu wished to come along as well. For once, I am glad that her injuries are not yet healed. He's constantly thinking about whether he wants her injuries to be healed, but in this case... Uh... I don't think I've done anything unusual with my uh, layout of jutsu, but... Um... Shuriken, poison shuriken, a little blister powder... All the quick change I can manage and some toxic ground fire. Not doing any of the other stuff. And this one, sloth talismans, as many as I can do. A rejuvenation talisman. A protection talisman. A phone call that I will return later, if at all. Okay, I think I've got my regular setup going. And, um... Pretty much using... Head of the Eagle Ninja set. So that's a thing. Alright, let's get on with just a few minutes worth of Sekigahara before we call it a video. I don't think this is the end of the game or anything, but this would be the end of a lot of the Samurai Warrior stories. The town of Sekigahara has long represented strategic ground in Mino province. In fact, long ago in the 7th century, it was the site of another decisive battle that split the country in two. Now as a thick mist hangs over all, more than 100,000 troops have managed to do battle in Sekigahara once again. I'm thinking after we beat this, we might get the dojo missions to get our mystic arts in um, ninjutsu and onmyo magic. Oh, I got a text. This message might actually have been one I need to respond to. Hey, I, I have your guardian spirits. What are they still doing with you guys? I have all those guardian spirits. Oh, uh, but I won't have these ones. 
Mitsunari. I think that's Sakon. Uh, I forget his name, but I know who he is. Oh, and Ikiti Baby Kobayakawa. big doing here folks so whether I can do it in this sit down or not I need to finish this battle before I'll be able to do any more off screening so I'm just Let's mommy go beat him up so this is kind of the decisive moment this guy told Tokugawa he would switch sides but then he kind of chickened out He's kind of a scuzz bag. <laughs> Why would Engine do that? What the hell? Does he even know what the hell's going on? Does he know how to work cannons? Like, I don't know that Engine is supposed to understand the politics of these different warlords. And why, uh, Kobayakawa is failing to defect. Anything he can abandon, I can abandon better. Read my lips. Oh wait, you can't. Uh -oh. Yeah, well, you know. I crave for his mother, the poor wee man. Now, of course, it'd be only involved. I mean, what else is going to happen here? We knew this was coming, folks. A shitty game called Uri. <laughs> Sorry. Well, funny. It seemed like I was right in the middle of a camp with a bunch of fellers, but... All right, so... So, here is a ladder that we will be knocking down later, I'm sure. Now I'm all worried. I didn't answer that phone call because I've been getting a lot of uh, junk phone calls recently, but that's probably a member of the family. We're trying to plan the family trip together. Load some scum. What a bunch of jerks. Well, there's a Kadama over here. You can see him quite clearly. But I don't actually see how to get to him. I see lots and lots of corpses. Because uh, I guess this is like the aftermath. No, this is during the battle. So, uh, Kobayakawa was kind of split in his loyalties between Ieyasu and um, Mitsunari. But he was nominally on Mitsunari's side and had promised Ieyasu that he would turn on Mitsunari during the battle and join Ieyasu. But then he didn't do it because he was basically waiting around, like he said there, to see who was going to take the advantage. So, um... And, like, his defection was kind of essential for Ieyasu to win the fight. Uh, so Ieyasu actually had cannons fire on him to... Which is considered a very risky move because it could have, like, totally alienated him. Oh, you're one of the enemy soldiers, okay. Oh, I'm not equipped with the right weapon. But that's okay. I can probably still handle this guy. So, be curious to see whether there's a noticeable difference in my Kusarigama damage now that the Mystic Art equipped. But yeah, the point I'm getting at is um, it was considered a risky move to uh, attack. Kobayakawa could further alienate him, prevent him from switching sides, but instead it spurred him to finally make his move because he was kind of dithering. And um, the rest is history. The defection of Kobayakawa cost the uh, Eastern Army the battle, or the Western Army the battle.
very annoying to me that I got them both together. Shit. Crappy way to start this off. Been away from the game for a little while, folks. So that one Adachi duel apparently didn't get me quite up to speed. Um, well, I didn't get that far, so it shouldn't be that difficult to retrieve the old corpse, but... I know we got at least one enemy here who appears to be down that will hop back up. There he is right there. I can at least get my corpse back unhindered. I'll feel a bit better. I think that's it there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, the game would be too easy if this never happened, but any of the times where they set it up so that you're fighting two guys at once, I get a little annoyed. Shit. I thought I was someplace where he couldn't hit me. So I can't really tell for sure how much difference this extra damage is doing. I knew he was a great man. Well, Kobayakawa Kobaya is not really that great a man himself, but... I guess you'd still rather have him on your side than against you. Uh, how the hell are we supposed to get to this uh, Kadama that we saw at the beginning? I guess we'd be knocking over a tree or something? Seems like I should be able to get over there and... Oh, I... Everywhere we go, just... Individual soldiers who are like taking a nap. I wonder if, because uh, I have put some of my some of my leveling up off screen into getting more key. I wonder if I was going to use the tactic that gives you extra damage to the last uh, key shot. If I should. Oh, it's, uh, are they both scared of a yokai or something? Because these are soldiers who are on my side, I think. But, um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have put so much into key, and I should just be trying to abuse the last bit of key that you get. But, uh, a big part of why, uh, the Eastern Army won is because, uh, a whole bunch of lords defected against um, the Western Army at different points. Nominally supporting Mitsunari and the Toyotomi, but when it came to it, they were kind of like, man, Mitsunari's kind of a dick. We don't feel like supporting him. Have I already been here? Maybe I've already been here. I've already been here. This map seems like it's going to be pretty confusing. Well, at this point, I want to go see what that phone call was, and it's pretty much time to call it a video anyway. So, when we come back, folks, we will be wandering around the battlefield of uh, Sekigahara trying to figure out what's going on. I'm the Series JG. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.